Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about something that I think is pertinent to the summer months. It's, uh, it's something that a lot of guys will do, especially on lakes that have clearer water, more of your highland type impoundments, but it will work in just about any type of water environment. There's just some that are better than others, and that's night fishing. I wanna give you, say, my four, I think, most proven productive lures and some insights on night fishing. Now, I haven't fished at night in years and years. Probably, gosh, the last time I fished at night was probably around 2004, 2003. It's been a long time. And the reason why is, I generally just like fishing during the day, number one. Number two, I really don't like feeling tired or dragging around the next day. I, I don't like that feeling that I get when I stay up really late. I kind of I like to get my sleep and feel fresh. And the other thing about it is I love to wake up early. And when you're staying up all night, that just doesn't uh, work well with that. That's the reason I don't fish at night. I always toy with the idea that, man, I'm gonna go night fishing. I just know it's awesome. And I live 30 minutes from a phenomenal lake, world-class fishery, legendary Lake Fork. And there's some guides up there that just crush them at night. So with that, I'm gonna give you some insights, some tips, some tactics, some different things on night fishing. And, and then my four top choices for catching bass at night. One other thing. Even though I haven't fished at night in years and years, I grew up in Southern California where in the summertime, those Southern California area lakes, night fishing was a big deal and we had night fishing tournament series and I competed in those and had some great success with my friend out there on the West Coast. We were all about it. If it was a tournament, we wanted to fish it and we fished night tournaments as well. So, with that, let's get right into it. Night bass fishing is not unlike any other type of bass fishing. Lots of presentations will work, different things. I've seen guys catch some big fish, or at least they told me, they caught some really big fish on deep diving crankbaits, bigger, larger body crankbaits that were either custom painted or something like this, it, you know, just a black colored, something of dark silhouette. And uh, I actually witnessed my good friend out in Southern California, catch him at night on a lipless crankbait, chrome. It was, there was little to no light and somehow he was catching him on this. And, uh, and obviously it's the rattle of the lipless crankbait that draws them in. They can hear it, they can hone in on it, but it was chrome. I just think chrome at night reflects everything. I just don't know how they found it. Bass are great predators. They can hone in on stuff in the pitch black where we can't almost see our hand in front of our faces. So one of the biggest producers of all time would be like a night spinnerbait. This is a striking midnight special. Now, this is a technique that I've personally not had a lot of experience with, a uh, little to no experience with, but coming from Southern California to Texas, a nighttime spinnerbait, one with a big Colorado or Colorado with a rattle in it, has produced some big fish out on Lake Fork. So a night spinnerbait, and a, a, one of the things they'll do, they'll put a big trailer on it, but uh, you throw it out, let it go to the bottom, and just slow roll it, or they lift and drop, and then just kind of lift it, and then it's just helicopters back down to the bottom. But a, a black nighttime spinnerbait like this, particularly black, I'm not saying white won't work or other colors, but those dark silhouettes work best. Now, it's kind of contrary to what you would think. Why black at night? Well, black works really well at night because the fish obviously are having a harder time finding things and the black actually is a harder silhouette. It's something they can zero in on where your whites or your more natural bait fish tones don't work particularly as well or they do work but not as well as say your, your darker colors. So that's why we gravitate to those darker colors and that's a, that's a big tip for fishing at night. Bigger presentations, louder presentations, darker silhouettes and that brings me into a jig a jig is another one that at night is a big time producer something big black this is i think a three quarter or a half ounce 
uh, Denny Brower structure jig with a big old Rage Lobster on the back. Something that puts out pressure waves, something that has some bulk, displaces water at night, something that fish can zero in on. This doesn't have a rattle, but uh, I'm a big advocate of rattles, especially at night. The sound helps the fish hone in on where that bait is located. So a jig, obviously throwing it out, let it sink to the bottom and they may lift and drop it or they may hop it. You just kind of have to play with it a little bit as far as retrieves till you find out what the fish like best. Now when it comes to night fishing, you can catch them out in deeper water, but I particularly like to go to the bank because I feel like a lot of those fish, there's more light in that shallower water. Those fish can see a little bit better. They can, they can feed the feeding opportunity. How productive they are at capturing prey in that shallower water I think is a little bit better than the deeper water. Not saying guys don't catch them out in deeper water at night, they do. But I generally like to gravitate to that shallower water. I always like to gravitate to the shallow water, but shallow water at night is the thing that I think of. I think of, I think of bigger, bulkier, darker presentations. And then I think of rattles. I think of shallow water. And those are things that I think of um, when it comes to uh, catching bass at night. Another one that I really like at night, a buzz bait. And this one's white, but I would probably go with a black one. But if you're talking about, you know, the last few moments of light before it gets really dark, you know, the, at the dusk, the time of the day, a white one, just because it imitates bait fish or shad patterns. But I like, you know, a tri-blade or a quad or something that puts out a lot of vibration. Something like this is a double take buzz bait by Strike King. This guy's just, you can crawl it too. That's the other thing about a bigger bladed buzz bait. You can just pluck, 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 pluck. Gives fish a chance to kind of hone in on it, the sound and different things like that. I've done well at a, with a buzz bait at night. It, uh, it's probably one of the more fun ways because you're just cluck, 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 and then you're whoosh, or you do, or the sound's gone. It's just, it's exciting. Uh, definitely one of my favorite presentations. And this brings me into my absolute favorite presentation for night fishing, and that is a big plastic worm. I've caught more fish on a big plastic worm at night than, than just probably just about anything else. Something like a, a rage tail cutter worm. I like, a, I like something that's got a tail on it, because then with that tail, kind of unlock the action on that rage, that tail puts out more pressure waves, puts out movement. I think that actually helps fish to hone in on, on the bait to find it, especially at night. That movement I think is key. Or like a rage tail anaconda, something like a, something like that bad boy. And again, I like bigger baits, pressure waves, give those fish something to hone in on. The thing about at night that that really is good is it's a great time to catch a true giant, a big fish. Break, make your personal best. Break your personal best something like that. But a big worm, I really feel like, and at night, the thing that we have going for us is it covers up all our intrusive or our, our lack of stealth, where the, it covers up our mistakes. The fish have a little bit harder time figuring out that things are or are not real. They don't know how to, they don't have hands, so they can't really touch it to see if it is a re real or not. So they gotta put it in their mouth and, and that's the only way they can really figure out if it's what they want or not. And then this guy, a big 10 inch striking bullworm out of the KVD Perfect Plastics line. Some, you know, again, you're getting the picture. Darker colors, I think this is black blue swirl, bigger fuller body baits. Now this doesn't have a big tail, but it's got a big presence. It's a you know, it's a, it's a giant bait. So that kind of makes up for the fact that it doesn't have the movement of a big curly tail style worm. But the curly tail style worm, the big plastics. And then depending upon how deep I'm fishing, maybe a 3 16 quarter ounce, all the way up to half ounce, or maybe even bigger. But, and then the thing about it is I upsize everything. Heavier fluorocarbon, even braided lines, because the fish can't see your line at night. So take advantage of that. That way when you get that big bite, you're gonna be able to put them in the boat. You're gonna, with these big worms, you're gonna to wanna to put a big old hook, like an owner five offset worm hook, like this guy right here. Or you might even use an extra wide gap style, but I really like, I'm partial to that, that hook. That hook's awesome. But I mean, owner even makes some seven knot and 11 knot, some things that if you really got crazy and got some big plastics, you could, uh, 
you could do that. But uh, tungsten weights, I like tungsten, just more, more sensitivity. You can feel what that bait's going through. And then the other thing that I do, again, rattles are key. Put a little glass rattle inside my plastics. Rattles in anything that I can put in there just so they can so they can hear that when you're hopping it and working it and it's coming across cover and over cover and down and through it and different things like that. I like a little bit of rattle. I like a little bit of rattle all the time, but at night it's, it's really key. Those are really the baits that I like. Those are some insights that I think are really important when you're fishing at night. So if you're out there fishing at night, remember I like a, a darker silhouette so the fish can hone in on it and sometimes that darker silhouette shows up a little bit better if they're looking up or down at a, something that's not quite as dark so they can kind of just see that presentation that and then i like the larger full body baits because obviously that pre, the pressure waves and the fullness of it help them to zero in on it the sound is key i think a lot of times and then um and then the action, something that place, displaces water. The four that I'm talking about are the plastic worm, the buzz bait, the jig, and the spinner bait. Those four baits are the ones that uh, I feel like you'll have your best opportunity to have success when you're out there night fishing. So try those things out. I hope you like this. Guys, if you uh, have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video. Comment, share some things with me. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you've got some different things that have worked for you over the years. Get out there and do some night fishing. I hope you guys have a great time out there and hopefully catch your personal best. Until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.